and mental health issues are really commonly occurred together. And there's lots of reasons why that may occur. People who have severe mental health issues have often not had a lot of success in managing it, and managing it to a point where they feel comfortable, where they can operate in everyday life. A lot of people you know, use substances to help manage their mental illness, and we find that um, through working on coping skills and you know, working to manage those symptoms that people are able to be successful towards goals they have, as well as manage their chemical health area of their life. We kind of look at it as a One Health psychiatric and physical and chemical dependency package of support services. Mahaki in Place is a 16-bed intensive residential treatment services program and we serve people that have been diagnosed with mental a mental illness um, as well as chemical dependency. Our average stay here is between 50 and 70 days. The people who come to Mahaki in Place usually have been in the hospital uh, repeatedly or have been through you know, various mental health services um, before they come here. I've been to several treatments and they, their thing was, okay, get sober and then everything else will work out. But Mahakian didn't do it that way. They did it the other way. They said, get your mental health straight, then the addiction will end. And I, love, I liked that. I was like, you know, this, this is the first time when someone's coming at something new, so I'm like, Let's, let's, let's do it, you know. It's nicer to recover and find your rehabilitative reset point when it's not having to be in a hospital. Uh, it's nice to do it when you are surrounded by other people working through the same thing, and that's exactly what we do here. We actively engage with folks to um, kind of explore where they are ready to work on their own functionality so that they can better manage their chronic illness at home. Our crisis services are a little bit different. They're much more short term in nature. The average length of stay for somebody who's going into a crisis service is typically three to five days. And people who go into crisis services, they're really experiencing an acute crisis. of Their mental health symptoms may be feeling suicidal, very depressed. Our goal in those services are really to help people get stabilized relatively quickly um, and to send them back into a community placement. You see folks that come in and they're scared and they're feeling unsafe and they're feeling unable to manage and when they're leaving they're feeling more stable, they're feeling more confident, they have more connections in the community and they have a plan. In terms of transformation, um, oh, it has so many faces to it and it's, it's lovely. Uh, for some folks it is the recognition that in one moment of time they were listened to for other people, it is the idea that it is an overwhelming thought of the responsibility that they have for a continuous care package for themselves. Um, and we get to be a part of what that looks like to support them through that discovery process of understanding that it's, it's a heavy responsibility, but we do hard things and it's possible.